tonight on CTV News. I'm sorry that it had to end this way. He was only 66. <laughs> sharing his memory after a wellness check turned tragic the family of a man presumed dead is speaking out their questions and concerns plus we need to look at how it's easier to find a place to park your car than it is to find a place to lay your head preaching a different development idea new moves to try and ease bc's housing crunch and but it's like this community's wrapped their arms around us like a big hug and it's been it's been so beautiful. After devastating break-ins nearly shut it down for good, a Maple Ridge business is opening again months before expected. How the community banded together to make it happen. This is CTV News with Lauren Fuller. Good evening and thanks for sharing your Sunday with us. The family of a Langley man believed to have died in a fire following an hours long standoff with the RCMP's emergency response team is speaking out tonight. They say he was in mental health distress. CTV's Ben Milger reports. Don Bennett was an avid horseman, a loving father and grandfather. Nikki McIntosh, one of his two daughters, describes him as boisterous. He would light up any room that he entered into. He just had that kind of personality that was infectious. McIntosh says BC RCMP officers went to Bennett's Langley home Friday afternoon to do a wellness check after someone reported he was distraught and had made concerning comments. The responding officers reported shots fired. What followed was an hours-long standoff that ended with Bennett believed to be deceased in the rubble of a fire that spread to a number of vehicles, including a pair of police cars. I'm sorry that it had to end this way. He was only 66. <laughs> sorry that I couldn't have done more. When people are struggling with mental health, it can be hard to know how, like what to do, what not to do, and how to support them. According to McIntosh, RCMP had the phone company block incoming calls to her father's number, meaning no family members could reach him as he was surrounded by heavily armed officers and in the middle. Forever grateful for those doctors who stepped in and stepped up. An incredible story of being in the right place at the right time. Rahima Ellis, NBC News. And that is our show tonight. Thank you so much for sharing your weekend with us. Hope to see you back here next weekend. Have a great week ahead.